So for this demonstration, we'll be putting the CPU and heatsink back into the case. First of all, we need to take the CPU. Now the important thing to remember about the CPU is that it will only go in one way around. It's important to locate on the CPU two grooves. There is one here and directly opposite the other side there is one here. Now we need to line those two grooves up with the correct position on the socket where the CPU goes. And it's located here and here. So we just need to turn that around so it's going in the right way. Line them up carefully. The CPU should just drop into position. Once you're happy that it's in the right place, just drop the hatch back on top and then use the lever arm, push it down and it just needs to clip under this little locking mechanism here so that it stays down flat. Finally the heatsink goes on top of the CPU. Now, if we just turn it over, you'll notice here there are two grooves, or two arms, that just drop into position on here like this. This allows the heatsink to rock back and forth like this. And it just needs to move forward so that it's sitting on top of the CPU. Okay. Finally, there are two screws one on either side of the heatsink, here and here. That we just need to tighten up so that the heatsink is firmly locked in place to the motherboard. And so that it sits firmly in place on top of the CPU, making sure that it's kept cool. And that's it.